What's up guys, it's Matt Collins-Jones here, also known as D365Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate, we're talking about the CDS Current Environment Connector, and we are look at the upload a file or image content in that connector. So, is, as I've kind of explained in one of my previous videos, there is a new file, a new field type, or two new field types in CDS, file and image type. These allow you to upload files or images to your CDS database. Now these are slightly different from things like attaching things in notes uh, or the entity image that you have, as in these are individual fields that you can use. And um, they're currently only available in Canvas apps, but they will become available in model-driven apps in the future, we hope. So um, this action allows you to upload um, files or, or images to those fields using Power Automate. So let's take a look at it today. So I'm in Power Automate, uh, I've got my CDS current environment connector and flow here, which means I'm inside a solution. Uh, I have a trigger action which triggers on update of accounts, uh, and when I trigger on uh, telephone one um, being changed. First thing I need to do is I actually need to get some content to put into these, um, put into these um, fields. So if I switch over to my OneDrive, I have couple of test files and uh, a test file and a test image here. So we have a test Im image which if I open up is this one. Uh, it doesn't look that great but it's fine. And our test file which uh, just says this is a test file. So these are in Power Automate. Um, they're, sorry, they're, these are in my OneDrive business in a folder called Power Automate. Um, and this is how I'm going to get these files. You do need them to be somewhere whether it's SharePoint or um, you know, another uh, another system somewhere you do need access to these these images or these files to be able to upload them. Switch back to my flow. Um, so if I click on new step, I type into here OneDrive. We have this OneDrive business connector here. And I can scroll down until I find get file content. If I choose this, it's asking me for the file that we want to identify. So if we click on the folder. Then click on the arrow next to root, scroll down to Power Automate, and then we've got our directory here. So we've got test file and test image. So we'll use the test image first, choose that one. And at that point, we don't need any more information. There's a show advanced options um, where we can invert the content type, uh, but we don't need to uh, change anything else. Next, we can call our action. So we click on new step. And then if in here, if we type content data, service. The one on the right, um, which has the dot dot dot, is the current data service current connector, the current environment connector. Choose that one, and I can scroll down uh, to the bottom uh, where we have this upload file or image content right here. <coughs> so it's asking me for four things at the moment. So it's asking me for the entity name, it's asking me for uh, the item ID, and this is, this is the item ID for the record, so the record GUID um, that we want to update this to. It's asking us for the field name, and it's also asking us for the content. So in uh, entity name, we're going to choose account, because that is the name of the entity that we're using. Uh, in the item name, we're going to choose the uh, GUID from the when a record is selected or updated. So uh, this one here, so when a record is created, updated, or deleted, choose this. Um, this do it here. Field name. Now we get an option, so we get the uh, the all the options that we have for for images or files. So the default image is the image on the entity. Uh, I also have three fields in here. Uh, the one we're going to be using today is test uh, test file. Did I choose a file? No, I chose the image. Uh, obviously, uh, I got it wrong. So test image one, and the content we're going to use. Is going to be the content from this get file step here so what we have in our OneDrive. Now you can click on advanced options uh, which has content name so we can rename this so we could rename this test, uh, test file uh, test image uh, that I upload, uploaded via PA because um, that's a fun long name um, and we can we can rename that content as we load it. Now, uh, to show you this, and uh, to show you this work, I'm going to switch over to Canvas app. So, 
This is a Canvas app. It's a very quick and easy Canvas app. It's got a list of my accounts, um, and we can see that some of these have images and some of them don't. So if I click refresh here, and if we open up the Matt's Awesome Company, we can see that there's no test image and there is no test file. So this is what we, we will be uploading today. That's our main page, and we'll go back to our flow. So now that we now that we have all this um, all this uploaded, now all, all this done, we can test it out. So we click on test. I'll perform the trigger action, save and test. And then when I go over to my CDS environment, I'm going to find Matt's awesome company. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to update this test number and so something like that. Hit save, and that should trigger my flow to run. Uh, and we can see this running here now. Uh, we get the green bar flow around successfully, so we can see that it got, got the update, it went off, it found the content, brought it back, uploaded it to the field. Um, and if we go back to my Canvas app and hit refresh at the top, Matt's Awesome Company now has this image, but it doesn't have the file because we haven't set up yet. Now we can do the exact same thing for the file and show you how that works. So if we go back to our flow, click on edit, and then instead of this test image, what we're going to do is we are going to go back to Power Automate. We're going to choose the test file instead. Uh, we're going to change the um, we're going to change the field name from test image one to test file one, and that's all we need. So we click on test. Uh, we'll run this from the action that we just ran uh, because that'll be nice and easy. Uh, we'll hit save and test, and this will start to run. Uh, all green, even though we don't have the green bar, it ran that quickly. So we'll go back to our Canvas app. Uh, we'll go back here, we'll just refresh this just to be sure. Go back to the Max Awesome Company, and now we have this here. Test image that I uploaded, uh, even because we didn't rename it. Uh, it hasn't brought through the um, the file extension, so we can just change that to .cxt. It's one thing I should have done when I, um, there we go, this is a test file. One thing I should have done when I was renaming the content is I should have put a the, the file name there, so that's all good. Yeah, there you have it. That is a awesome tool that you have in Power Automate now uh, that you can use to upload content and file uh, images um, to specific fields when you are uh, running flows uh, and, and doing this on the CDS. So I think this is fantastic. Uh, it's something that I'm looking forward to using. I really can't wait for the file and image types to be available in model driven apps because that's what I do most days. So, um, and it's, it's a highly requested feature from a lot of customers, uh, the ability to upload things to specific files so you can see them right then and there, uh, rather than uploading them to notes or uploading them to SharePoint load and direct to the form where people can see where the files are attached. Something very basic uh, that a lot of systems have, something that um, you know people have been crying out for. So what do you guys think about this action? Is this something you're going to be using a lot of? Is it something you've used already? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, if you could like it and share it with your friends, that would be really appreciated. If you've not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you next time.